Algo traders can surprisingly make money in multiple different ways. Obviously, the most common way is programming automated trading systems that make trades and ideally make a profit in multiple uncorrelated markets. Using best practices for these automated trading systems like walk forward testing and Monte Carlo analysis, over time, there's an increasingly higher chance of success and a profit. However, there is actually other ways algo traders can make money. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about three different ways algo traders can make money. And hopefully if you're watching this and you're a coder or a trader, this can help you make some new streams of income. As I mentioned before, the first way algo traders can make money is capital gains from their automated trading systems. This is the most common way that algo traders can make money. Basically an algo trader codes and builds multiple different automated trading systems that place buy and sell signals on real markets based off computer logic to ideally make a return in the long run. An example of an automated trading system portfolio could be three systems. One system trades the S&P 500 index, one system trades bonds, and one system trades the US dollar. Because there's three different systems in three different markets, this would be a good starter portfolio for an automated trading system and allows for some diversification to reduce your risk. Now, the algo traders investment could be their own money, which would be the highest risk because they're using their own personal net worth to fund this essentially career. They could be risking a portion or maybe all of their savings to get this started. To reduce this risk, they could take outside capital from family and friends. And if they're really good, they could actually get licensed in eyes of the government and trade other people's money and charge a fee based on returns or capital under management. By doing that, they're using other people's money and essentially reducing the risk. However, their stress goes up because now they're managing other people's money and maintaining relationships and making sure expectations are met. Obviously, that is way easier said than done. It takes years of experience to know how to backtest and what an actual good backtest looks like out of sample testing, walk far testing, Monte Carlo analysis, and then actually building multiple systems and grouping them into the right portfolio that's going to have the right correlation, the right diversification, and the right risk management to actually run. Then there's the whole other spectrum of managing other people's money, managing their stress, relationships, expectations, building a team, and running an overall fund. It's much harder to do that, but you can trade with more money and essentially maybe make a better return dollar wise if you're using other people's money because you're just going to have more cash to trade with with that being said there's many successful traders that trade their own money including larry williams and kevin davey who i interviewed a couple videos ago that use their own money to fund their career the second way an algo trader can make money is getting a job many firms are looking for algo traders and developers to make a return for them or to build tools to help them gain an edge hedge funds prop trading firms, and wealth management firms are looking for algorithmic traders and developers to build automated strategies, trade them, develop tools for risk management, diversification, correlation analysis to help them succeed in the future. This is pretty low risk for the algo trader or developer as they usually get a base salary and sometimes even a bonus if they impact the firm positively in the future. For example, maybe they make some great trades or maybe they build a tool that helps them gain an edge that can result in bonuses. You may need college experience if you're looking to join a higher end firm at the start, but smaller firms might take you in if you have some example projects or tools that you've built on your own time that you can show them to display your technical skills. The third way an algo trader can make money is selling tools online like automated trading strategies, indicators, market data, or other tools related to trading and the software industry. Many traders are looking for tools to help place trades or automate a lot of the tedious tasks in their day-to-day -day basis. Some traders are looking for automated trading systems that are ready to go. Some are looking for indicators and some have a very specific problem and want a unique consultation solution to help them in the future. In addition, companies could be looking for tools to help them. So you as an algo trader could sell your products to other companies instead of individual traders. Many marketplaces exist where you can sell these products. For example, the Interactive Brokers Investors Marketplace has their own marketplace where you can sell products like software systems, trading systems, indicators, stuff like that. In addition, broker systems like NinjaTrader and TradeStation have their own individual marketplaces as well where you can market your products there. Or you could build your own website where you sell your custom product and market it through the traditional sales channel. This of course will be harder at first because selling and marketing a product takes some time to ramp up. Your product has to be useful, 
actually work and solve a unique problem to actually sell. In addition, you actually need to get attention as well to sell. People have to be searching for your product on Google, or you need some type of social media presence to sell your product and get some eyeballs on it. A bonus way algo traders can make money is online education. You could sell an online course or mentorship that teaches other people how to code, how to build trading systems, how to test them, and how to trade them. This is another way algo traders could make money. I hope you guys will use these tips to make some new streams of income. And if you learned something, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.